Well, an ice cream business is switching gears, trying to protect the community. Local 10's Nikki Milhan has a sweet story out of Miramar. Not many people know this local ice cream company, San Bernardo, even though it's been here for over 50 years. That's because their big business was cruise ships. Now, with that business frozen, they've had to pivot in a whole different direction to keep going. In the San Bernardo Miramar warehouse, thousands of gallons of ice cream are stacked to the ceiling while their profit margins melt away. Our big industries, our casinos and colleges and cruises, our big markets, our New York and New Jersey, and COVID-19 just put a, a, a giant bullseye on us. We were kind of the perfect uh, small business punching bag. San Bernardo may not be a household name, but its delightful desserts are served everywhere. Started 50 years ago by a Cuban family, they are a staple in South Florida business. <laughs> They began to lose money in January because of the pandemic shutting down European cruises. Still, Florida cruises were still sailing and their plant-based ice cream, No Bull, just hit shelves at Whole Foods. CEO Jonathan Tamara started searching for protective gear for his drivers. When I had to pay $70 for one gallon of sanitizer, I was like, this is crazy. And then I had to pay $75 for a box of, of 50 masks. It, it was just, it was out of control. Tamara worked round the clock to find sanitizer, masks, and gloves, not only for his employees, for any local group that needed it. We want to make sure that the sanitation workers in Carroll City, and that the you know, mayor's office in Hialeah Gardens or whoever, we want to make sure that they're covered. Selling PPE may not replace what he's lost, but he's choosing purpose over profit in this pandemic. We got a lot of hardworking people, and I'm a, I'm a creative and a resourceful guy, and I'm, I'm confident that between the PPE and between the, the, the no bull going into Whole Foods, that we will get through this. San Bernardo hopes that their ice cream business will outlast the pandemic. For now, they're specializing in putting together customized PPE kits for anyone who needs it, including charities and even the homeless population. In Miramar, Nikki Mohan, Local 10 News.